Hey YouTube, Opinionated Reviewer here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can avoid restoring your device. If your device is stuck in a respin loop, you, involve, you install a faulty tweak that messed up your device and you can't get into your device, no matter if you reboot or what's not. I'm going to show you guys how you can avoid restoring if any of this happens. Now, I'm going to show you guys the official mobile substrate way because mobile substrate was actually updated today to do this. And after I'm showing you guys, I'm going to show you guys what I normally do to avoid any of these. But let's go ahead and I'm going to show you the main way which for the mobile substrate. But first of all, we're going to take a look and pay attention. I have a color keyboard enabled. I have Zeppelin enabled. And also, I'm going to show you guys in here, you can see all my tweaks that I have installed that support switcher loader. I, I think that's what his name well, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and just reboot our device. So, say for instance, your device is stuck in a respring loop, you're not gonna be able to go ahead and power off your device normally by powering off like this. So, what you wanna do is just go ahead and hold the power in the home button until your device forces a reboot. Or you could power it off like that if you can, and then go ahead and just power it back on. And you're going to have to hold the volume button up. Just hold the up volume button until your device reboots. This is going to go ahead and activate the new safe mode that Mobile Substrate has for the new update. Be sure to refresh your CD and check it out. Once your device reboots, you can hold it for a little while. I just like to hold it for at least three more seconds, and then you can release. And you guys are going to realize that my Zeppelin isn't enabled anymore. If I go in, you're not going to see my color keyboard. My keyboard is there, but it's not. Color keyboard isn't enabled. Because it, and if I go in here, you're gonna see all of my jailbreak stuff that's normally here, they're gone. That's because the new feature for mobile substrate is activated, therefore, put my device into a safe mode, preventing any of the tweaks that are actually harming my device to be disabled. So now you can go ahead and go into Cydia and basically just remove the, um, the tweak that you enabled and cause your device to go into a respring loop or it just messed up your lock screen that you can't get into your device now you have to actually reboot your device to get your device out of this mode if you go ahead and you power if you go ahead and respring your device because sb settings is still enabled so if i go ahead and i go ahead and respring my device even if i respring my device my None of my jailbreak stuff are going to be activated. You can see it's the same thing. None of them are activated. You have to reboot your device to get it out of this mode. So I'm going to go ahead and just reboot my device and show you guys the steps that I normally do to get myself out of any trouble. Now that my device has respawned, guys, you'll see that um, the safe mode is disabled and everything is now back to normal. Zeppelin, also my color keyboard. So now the second option, what I normally like to do is I normally like to go and use activator. So I'm going to open up activator and I set my thing to anywhere. And I go down to the volume rockers, which you could do it anywhere. But I like the volume rockers because I rarely use any of these methods. And you see the down and up methods when you press it down and up. I like to go ahead and go and set that to safe mode. So just scroll down until you see these stuff right here. I like to set it to safe mode. So whenever a tweak bugs my device, whether it's in a respring loop. No, I haven't got into a respring loop yet, but that stupid ass tweak slider with it put my, I couldn't unlock my device the other day because it messed up my slider and I had to use this method. So whenever I press down and up on the volume rockers, it just puts my device into safe mode and I could go ahead and uninstall that tweak. That's what I like to do, but I'm glad that mobile substrate was actually updated with this feature. I also use the respring one, which I set for two of my volume rockers. So when it says, see it says both press. When I press both of them, it respring my device because on iOS 5. Point, on the jailbreak for iOS 5.0.1 on the iPhone 4, sometimes your device doesn't respring and I have to force a respring with these two buttons right here. But that's basically it. This is super awesome. So all those tweaks that are buggy and messes up your device, this is super awesome so you don't have to restore. So definitely, definitely update your mobile substrate. Just go into Cydia, refresh, because you're definitely going to have mobile substrate installed on your device no matter what. As long as you use tweaks, you're going to have it installed.
So if you guys see right there, it's already updated. I have to update it on my iPhone 4s, but I already updated it on my iPhone 4. That's basically it, guys. Up, refresh your CD, install a new mobile substrate, avoid restoring. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day. Make sure you show that thumbs up button some love. And if you aren't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button above. Like my Facebook fan page and follow me on Twitter. I answer questions a lot faster on Twitter than I do on YouTube. Oh yeah, and check out my previous video if you haven't already.